Hi everyone and welcome to Yive. I wanted to briefly explain what this offer is on this page. Uh, for a lot of people who have recently lost uh, their video builder, we're making an offer for the Yive application, uh, the video builder only. Um, this means that for a one-time fee, you can actually buy the Yive uh, software, cloud software application and when you log in you'll have access to our video building tools. You will not be able to use the automatic uploader or any of the Google account or YouTube channel management features as they won't be included in this one-time fee offer. But at any point in time if you want to upgrade your account to a subscription then you can start using the automated upload features. Um, this, the, the system itself is set up to automate the process of creating dozens or hundreds or thousands of videos for you for different types of uses and we have different campaign types. Uh, the sales page below describes the different campaign types in more detail um, but basically you can create campaigns video campaigns that produce dozens or uh, multiples of videos um, based on your needs. So you can create Amazon product videos, RSS feed videos, so this converts the items in your RSS feed into videos. Keyword based videos, which we also call um, spin tax. Uh, this actually um, uh, takes keywords and our system will create content videos from those keywords. Um, this also the system will also use uh, specific auto trader dealer links to create uh, auto dealer campaigns of their vehicles that they have at their dealership. Um, we can convert specific URLs into videos. So if you have a page on your website with images and things like that, you can convert that into a video, images and text, what have you. Um, we have spin tax videos, which is. Uh, basically, your ability to put your own script in, uh, including spin tax in that script and title, and it will make um, a variety of videos, including different assets mixed in uh, to each of the videos. So each video is unique, um, so it'll have a unique script, unique title, um, and unique assets uh, in each video. And we definitely recommend trying this out. This might be the most powerful of all of the campaigns. And we do have a use your own feature. Uh, this is uh, one where we can add um, uniqueness to the beginning and end of the video, but the main video is yours. We do not touch the main video. And um, this, this also requires that you, you understand what you're doing as far as making unique titles, etc. This is mostly for people who use the automated upload feature um, and want to upload their own video to multiple channels. Um, this use your own video remix is really a, um, uh, a, a variation of this video where we'll actually uh, remix um, bumpers on the front and end in order to make unique versions. Um, the multiple URL videos, you can put a list of your website URLs in a box and it will do the same thing as this specific URL campaign does, which is actually create videos from each URL uh, that you put in. And then we have custom content campaigns which use the Yive API. That's something we won't go into here, but if you build your own crawler and want to send that data to Yive, uh, we can work with you to make sure that you're getting the kinds of videos you want from your API feed. So we have lots of different campaign types that you can use. Um, once your campaigns are done, you can edit the videos using the video builder. There's a tutorial listed on the sales page that shows you how that works. So you can check that out as well. Once you buy into the video builder, you do have the option of uh, later upgrading to a subscription um, if you want to use the automated uploads feature. Um, but today's price is based on just using the video builder and the video creator um, portions of the application. Once you finish your campaigns, you can use our archiving feature. Um, it's an S3 archive, which means we can help you connect your account to AWS 
or DigitalOcean or Scaleway so that uh, you can export all your videos to a cloud location where they can be kept permanently uh, until you're ready to use them. Um, we do store videos for 30 days after a campaign is complete. So you want to download those videos at, uh, and, uh, at some point in time before that 30 days is up or just send them to one of these archive locations um, where they will be stored. And if you have any issues, we have an integrated ticket system. Um, you don't need to log into a different sy system. You just create your ticket here and give us 24 to 48 hours to respond to your ticket. We'll get back to you as quickly as possible. We're constantly adding new features. Um, we're going to be adding some new aspect ratio videos. We're going to be adding some custom audio buckets uh, and a few other things very quickly within the next couple of months. Actually, the next couple of weeks for most of these. Um, but we're always adding new features. Um, so keep an eye on the email and join our Facebook group so you get all of that information uh, as quickly as we release it. Uh, we hope to see you inside of Yive, uh, and we hope that you'll enjoy using the application. This video is going to be about the video editor built into Yive. And I'm just referring back to one of the Amazon videos we had for our Hummingbird Feeder campaign. Um, so when the Amazon campaigns are being done, the videos will be almost completely images with different burns effects. Um, and some stylized animations, but for the most part, it's going to be the images that are coming from Amazon for the product. Um, but sometimes some of the images repeat or there might be something that you want to change to liven it up a little bit. Um, but you don't have to. The videos do pretty well without any edits. But let's just say for, um, you know, the, the sake of this tutorial, you wanted to edit a video. Um, so we're going to go through that process. So right here we have a video that I want to edit. So we're going to pull up the individual video um, creation uh, end result screen here. I'm going to go up to Actions tab and I'm going to hit Edit. And that's going to open the Video Builder. Um, primarily this builder is designed um, to help you edit videos, uh, not necessarily build them from scratch. Um, if you spend the time in here, you can build videos from scratch um, just by clicking through, selecting a template, adding a script, choosing a voice if you want, um, that kind of thing. Uh, but short of that, for the most part, you, let's just say you want to edit a video. Um, so over here, what you will see is our, really our asset sidebar, um, so you can make some edits to the style of the, the video, the text overlay, if you want to do that, um, you know, using the template where you select, um, being able to, which template you want to use. Uh, you can preview what they look like when you click on them. Uh, that's an example of one. That's a good one. I'm going to go with the green here and we're going to change it to the green. Um, the script is okay, so I'm not going to adjust the script. Um, I'm going to leave that, but if I wanted to adjust the script, I could go in here and make those changes here. Click Edit Script. Um, and then once I made the edits, I could hit Save Script. Um, so we can do text-to-speech, and when you open that, you can choose your voices over here and uh, uh, be able to save that as well so but i'm going to focus here on um, i want to update the slide so down here at the bottom of the builder you'll have um, some repeats of some of the images of the slot in the in the slide so um, there are several times where the single bottle shows up so i'm going to actually go ahead and change that out so i'm going to click on this one um uh, might uh Take a look here. Um, that looks like that's a different product. So I'm actually going to go ahead and change this. Um, so I'm going to just actually go in here and I'm going to type in hummingbird. And it will automatically load some hummingbird images that we could use. Um, I could also switch to video and it will generate videos or the, the video clips that we can use. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. 
and that will um, video clip will replace in here where, where that image uh, was before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace uh, this one as well. And I'm going to type in hummingbird again. And I'm going to get an image and I'm going to click that and put that in there. Um, if I wanted to reorder the images, I could slide it over here uh, and do that as well. Um, so we'll go through here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out with another um, video using Hummingbird. And I'll find, I'll use that one. And that's all the changes I'm going to make. And so now I'm going to go ahead and hit save changes. Now there's a little drop down here. So you can hit save and continue if you want to stay and make additional changes. You can hit save and render if you want it to go ahead and start generating the video. Or you can hit save and exit, which means you're going to save your changes, but you're not going to have it do anything right away in case you want to come back and edit it later. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and render. So the, if the video is going to go in the render queue and uh, it will show down below. It was created and it's on queue. You'll be able to come back and look at the activity log until the actual final video is done. Uh, and then once that's done, uh, you will be able to um, delete the old video and just have the new video to be uploaded. So that's uh, how the video builder works. Um, I don't necessarily advise editing all of your videos. I think um, it probably is best for when you notice a video that has a lot of maybe incorrect images or uh, clips that are not necessarily as good as what they can be in a video. Um, you can certainly delete the video that gets uploaded to YouTube and edit it here in Yive. Um, regenerate it and then re-upload it to YouTube to get uh, a better uh, video in place. So uh, that's the point of this tool, uh, this video builder. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to uh, definitely post a ticket in the support area. And uh, good luck. See you in the next tutorial.